Welcome my fellow crochet enthusiasts. First up, feast your eyes on this jaw-dropping beauty and don't blink because you'll want to see every stitch in this crochet sensation. We've got this burgundy maroon stunner. Now grab your yarn, 3mm hook, dunny needle and those scissors. Make a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook, chain 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Block with your thumb and chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet into every stitch until you reach the second last stitch. Place two double crochet into that stitch. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Chain one. And place another two double crochet into that same space. Flip the piece to the side like so and place one double crochet in every stitch all the way down. While working on this side, you have the option to conceal any extra yarn, seamlessly blending it into your crochet project. Just to make sure that we reach the end, you're going to place a double crochet into the top of the chain 3 because that chain 3 counts as a double crochet. Remember we chained 13 and then we added 3 more chains. The 3 more chains that we added counted as 1 double crochet and at the last stitch before the chain 1 space, we added 1 double crochet. In total, on each side, I have 15 double crochets. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn your work. You're not going to make a double crochet into the very first stitch because the chain 3 counts as a double crochet. So you're going to move on to the next space and place your first double crochet. You are going to double crochet in the back loop, in the back loop so that we can form that nice ridge. And then you're going to double crochet into every stitch at the back loop all the way up until you reach that chain one space. Into that space, you're going to place two double crochets, one double crochet, the second double crochet, chain one, and then add two more double crochets, one double crochet, the second double crochet. And then you're going to continue with double crochets all the way along while double crocheting at the back loop of every stitch until you reach the end. Thank you. 
you are going to repeat that row over and over again until the cap is big enough to go around your breast i made five more rows so in total i have seven rows one two three four five six seven So next chain one and turn your work. We're going to make a single crochet in the very first stitch. Then we'll make a single crochet into the next two stitches. We're going to make a picot stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to insert our hook into the front loop of the single crochet like so yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook this is a slip stitch Single crochet into the next three stitches. Then we are going to make our picot chain three, one, two, three. Insert your hook into the front loop of the single crochet. Yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. This is a slip stitch. Repeat the pattern until you reach three, two, one stitches from the chain one space just make sure you don't end on a picot i am three stitches from the chain one space so i'm going to single crochet in the next three stitches one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet then in the chain one space i'm going to make a single crochet and then I will chain 100. After you've chained 100, make slip stitches all the way along until you reach the first chain that you made. Make your last slip stitch in the chain space, then single crochet in the chain one space of the bra cap. And we are done with our next strap. So whatever you did on the other side of the bra cap, you're going to do the same thing on this other side. On the other side, I made four single crochets before the chain one space and then a uh, picot. So whatever I've done on the other side of the bra cap, I'll do the same thing on this side of the bra cap. Though the normal pattern is three single crochets, then on the third single crochet, that's where we'll make our picot. The reason why I made Four single crochets then a picot is because that's how i ended on the other side of the bra cap so however you ended make sure you do the same thing to this other side then continue with the normal pattern Remember how we started? 
three single crochets then on the third single crochet we made a picot so here i'm making my final picot and then my last two single crochets chain one and cut off your yarn make another cap just like this one we are now making the bottom part make a slip knot insert your crochet hook and make a chain that is just right to reach the midpoint of one bra cap for me that's 15 chains grab one of your bra cups and then you're going to place a single crochet right into this space just right there And then you're going to place two single crochets into this next space. Then two single crochets into the next space. Continue with the pattern two single crochets into each space across your cup till you reach the end um at my last space so i'm going to place two single crochets into that space then one single crochet at that border chain one and we're going to connect the second cap after you've chained one you're going to connect so we're going to make a single crochet on the border one single crochet on the border then two single crochets into every space continue with that pattern until the end we are at the end make a single crochet on the border then i'm going to chain 14. my yarn here finished so i got a new yarn ball and connected it by tying a knot I'm going to chain three more then double crochet on the fourth chain from the hook the first three chains count as one double crochet then we're going to make one double crochet into every stitch all along till the end of this row Chain three, this counts as our first double crochet. 
chain one that counts as our first chain space then double crochet on the third stitch from the hook chain one skip one stitch and double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and double crochet in the next stitch You're going to continue with this pattern all along till the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row and I've been left with two stitches instead of one. I'm going to double crochet on that last stitch. That's still okay. I'm going to chain three because I ended with two double crochets. Then I'm going to turn my work and make a double crochet on top of the double crochet that I made from the row below. Then I'll continue with the pattern. Chain one then double crochet on top of the double crochet from the row from the previous row chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous row i continued with the pattern till the end of the row so here i'm going to count three chains from that box and then i'm going to make a double crochet on that third chain Chain four, one, two, three, four, turn your work, and then we are going to place a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. Chain one, place a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. I'm going to continue with this row over and over again until I reach my desired length. I made three more rows. You can make as many rows as you'd like. So we're going to make an edging at the final row like we did on our bra cap, but this is optional. The top still looks great at this point so the pattern is for every three stitches make a single crochet then on the third single crochet make a picot stitch just like we did on the bra cap it doesn't matter whether the picot will end on a double crochet or a chain one space. Just continue with the pattern. For every three stitches, three single crochets, then on the third single crochet, make a picot stitch. You'll continue with this pattern. Three single crochets in every three stitches, then a picot on the third single crochet till the end of the row. We are almost done with the top. Now we are going to make straps for the back. Chain one. After you've chained one, 
you're going to make one single crochet on the border right there then we're going to make two single crochets in every space On the last space make two single crochets and then one more on top of that double crochet. We are going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Then we are going to turn our work. The chain four counts as one double crochet and one chain space. So we are going to double crochet on the third stitch. Then we'll chain one, skip one stitch, and make a double crochet on the next stitch chain one skip one stitch then make a double crochet on the next stitch chain one skip one stitch then make a double crochet on the next stitch Chain one, turn your work, then we'll make a single crochet in the first stitch. Then we'll make a single crochet in the chain one space, a single crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row, a single crochet in the chain one space, a single crochet on the double crochet from the previous row. Continue without pattern until the end of the row. Once you're done, you're going to make the straps, chain 150. After you're done making your chains, slip stitch in every chain all the way along. At the end, make a slip stitch on that single crochet, chain one and cut off your yarn. Then you're going to repeat this pattern on the other end. And we are done. Hide the redundant yarn with a dani needle. Then I'll make a part two for the choker. Like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one. 
and follow me on social media at not kisses